one, I wanted to talk about something that most people don't talk about, and I think it falls in the makeup category, but it's just one of those things we have in our purse or in our nightstand or in our makeup stand table, and we just don't think about it. It's our ever, part of our everyday routine, but I think it's a makeup product, and that is lip balm. And I am not talking about the pretty lip balm that has tint to it and also has some moisturizing benefits. If we're talking about that, the only one I recommend is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector, which is my all-time favorite. I'm talking about good old-fashioned. You have dry chap lips from a cold, the cold weather, um, the heat's on in your house, and what do you slap on? What do you keep in your purse or have in your nightstand drawer that you reach for every day? So. I recently cleaned out my collection because I realized I had some lip balms sitting in my nightstand probably from 10 years ago. Don't want to put that on my lips. And um, I have one fairly decadent one that I just think is too cute and would be a great um, gift stocking stuffer, just kind of fun little thing. So let's go through the collection. It ranges from drugstore to not so much and everything in between. And um, I'm just going to start reaching. So my favorite drugstore one is this little guy, and this is not the EOS lip balm. I have mixed a love-hate relationship with the EOS lip balms, but the one that I love that looks exactly like it, it's the Walgreens brand. It's specifically from Walgreens. Um, it has their little Well Walgreens label on the top here, but there's nothing else. Oh, Revo, R-E-V-O is stamped on the bottom. My particularly favorite scent or flavor, they do have a flavor to them, is the uh, strawberry one. This is a brand new one. I have these little balls all over the house. I have them in my nightstand, on my desk, um, in the kitchen. They come out with different scents, flavors every season. This is from last year. This is part of their holiday collection. I think this one was sugar cookie scent. It is. Um, they're great. They're really moisturizing. They don't dry up. They last forever. They're a great price point, and I love that if you throw this in your purse, even if it falls on the bottom, you're gonna find it just because of the size. So I love, love, love that. Another one that lives in my purse, and it's a particular favorite in the summer, but I think this is also great to have if you're a skier because this is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm, and this one is great for two reasons. One, for summer and skiing, it has SPF 25, which your lips can burn, and you need to protect them too. And I really like this one, not just because it's obviously moisturizing, I'm not gonna recommend something that doesn't actually help with the moisturizing, but um, this is in the men's section of most makeup places, and like Ulta and Sephora, and so this lip gloss is marketed for men, not lip gloss, I'm sorry, lip balm is marketed for men, and so it's not shiny, it almost has a, it doesn't, leave a matte finish on your lips, but it's a matte sort of finish for a lip balm, so it doesn't leave your lips very shiny, because most men don't want to walk around with shiny lips. So if that's your thing, this is a great one. It comes in a lot of scents. The one I have here is grapefruit, but my favorite is there's a lemon chamomile. That's my particular favorite, but there's peppermint, there's lavender, so you just find the scent that you love, and um, I like the little squeegee top. It's very handy. Speaking of squeegee type tops, another one that is, it's a favorite. I've had it for a while. <coughs> Excuse me, speaking of cold. This is from the uh, Smiths. This is the Rosebud Salve. And um, I like the squeezy tube. I've had this one a while and it's been in my purse because it's got a little bit of purse deritus on it. It has a nice, pleasant rose scent if you're into rose, and the squeezy tube is great for keeping in your purse, on the go, that kind of thing. It is quite moisturizing. But um, my favorite from Smith's is not, I like this, but my favorite scent, and that's just my personal preference if you're going for scented. This is my third tub. This is the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm, Strawberry. Um, you can find these at Sephora. It's where I keep picking mine up in that little aisle of doom as you walk to the cash register, all the little odds and ends you think you don't need, this you need. This I keep in my nightstand. It's, I'm on my, like I said, this is my second, or no, I think it's my third tub. And I like um, the kind where you can dip your finger in um, to keep it home, and, and um, just because it's a little more sanitary that way, but this smells heavenly. I love strawberry scent, but it really does moisturize, and when my lips are in particularly horrible shape, this is the one that I reach for. I I really love it, and um, you could technically use it on your cuticles as well, but I think that's kind of weird to have scented 
lip balm on your fingers. So I would skip that for the fingers, but I have not found a better potted version, I think, except possibly, let me throw out another one for you. This one came in my cult beauty box from Caroline Hirons, and this technically isn't a lip balm, but I have been using it as such, and I find it is lovely. This is the Pomade Divine from Na Nature's Remedy Balm. Pomade Divine is the brand, I believe. Nature's Remedy Balm, and it is a big old pot of balm. It has a medicinal scent, kind of herbal, I would say, and it's supposed to be for any kind of dry skin, not just lips, but any kind of burns, cuticles, rough patches on the skin. I will tell you that the tiniest bit goes a very long way, so be judicious when you apply, and it is shiny, so what I like is if I'm putting on a matte lipstick and I just wanna add a little bit of something before I leave the house, I'll just dab the tiniest amount and put it in the center. Do that and you are good to go. Um, I think this would be great if you have a really bad cold and you get the dry chap skin around your nose. This would feel really nice on the nose. Not something I would leave the house with. This would definitely be more of an evening <laughs> treatment because you don't want a shiny nose as you walk around town. But this is a, a great, it's, it's quite hefty. It's a nice, nice fixture. So I love that. Okay, we're down to a few. This was a classic, definitely influenced by YouTube. The Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream Skin Protectant. I have a big old tube that I picked up. This stuff will last the rest of my natural life. It is um, petroleum-based. Um, it has a horrible scent. I know that now they've come out with a scentless version, if that's your thing, but this is a classic, and a lot of people swear by it. I've had good luck with it because it's more of a medicinal type scent. I like this better on my cuticles. I have no idea why, but um, I do keep this on my bedside table as well. Now, this one is going to be most random and slightly embarrassing to have in your purse or out and about, but it works really well. If you don't want to use a petroleum-based lip product, because most of these are, I have to say, many, many, many of them are, you might want to reach for this. I actually picked this up last year and gave it to the boys and they had it in their backpacks until they realized what it was. Okay, enough. It's the, I got this at CVS. It's the, you can pick them up at any drugstore. They come in like a three pack. It's Lansino. Uh, what is Lansino? Lansino is nipple cream. This is a product for, um, so, to soothe and protect sore cracked nipples. It's lanolin. So if you're allergic to lanolin, obviously you don't want to use this, but um, it's obviously safe to ingest because you put breastfeeding mothers, put it on their nipples before they nurse, well after they nurse their babies. And obviously its intention is to heal chapped skin and skin is skin, right? This stuff works great. It's much more intensive, I would say, than some of the other options I have here. But you know, a teenage boy doesn't want to pull out nipple cream out of their backpack. So these were all given back to me, but they do work really, really well, and they're a pretty good price point for what they are. Now, for my two decadent products. So, I have not used the Dior or La Mer one, but I would say that this is probably in the same category and a little more user-friendly. This is from the brand Erin, and this is their Rose Lip Conditioner, and it sort of has a cult following as well. It's really pretty. I just... Sometimes you buy a product because it's useful. Sometimes you buy a product because it's useful and pretty. This is useful and pretty. If you love the scent of roses, this is a much, compared to say the Smiths, the Smiths is a little more, I don't know, not nearly as strong and not nearly as natural smelling. This smells like you just stuck your face in a rose bush without the thorns. It's lovely. So if you are a big fan of roses or you know someone who's a big fan of roses, this is a lovely lip balm and it's pretty heavy duty. I think this would make a great gift. I mean, unless, I, this is one of those things where you buy this for somebody else because you know it's not something normally you would buy for yourself, but you would love it as a gift. And I love the pink tube, I love the gold writing, and I really do love how it works. This one is probably the most decadent one, and I am actually, I already have two people in mind that I wanna buy this for, for gifts. This is from Bobble Bar. You know how much I love and adore them. And they did a collaboration with Vaseline, and it comes in this little box. Wait for this. Actually, Shane's like, when you're done with the product, can I have the box? 
Okay. So it's Vaseline and bubble bar together. You're going to love this. Can you see this? Ta-da! This is a tiny little Vaseline jar that is entirely encrusted in Swarovski crystals. I love Vaseline. Who doesn't love Vaseline? It has a million uses. Obviously, lip balm is the first thing I always think of for Vaseline. I also use this on my cuticles. Um, I've used, I can't, there's so many things. Over the years, Vaseline is just one of those things you have to have in your house. Is this decadent and silly? Of course it is, but my God, it is gorgeous. Look at that. Um, it's a full bottle of, baby bottle of the Vaseline. And... You, the nice thing is you can refill it with more Vaseline if you want, or I don't know what you would put in here. Um, I think this looks absolutely adorable. I think this looks absolutely adorable on a makeup table, a dressing table, a nightstand. Um, I wouldn't put it in my purse. I just think it's too pretty, but it's just one of those things. Um, it's, just, it's fun. It's the holiday season. Everybody needs a crystal encrusted Vaseline jar, right? As always, I love hearing back from you, so please let me know if there's something that you feel like I absolutely have to add to my collection that just beats everything else that I've shown you, or let me know if one of these is actually your favorites, because I'd like to know what you think. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, the UPS man just left, and he brought me a big old box of goodies from Sephora. This is my haul from the B.I.B. Rouge sale.